Hey guys and welcome back to the moving vlogs. So we are kicking off jumping right in to some different new home changes and a big one I'm hoping. I have been waiting for ages, absolutely ages, to get my bed sorted and get like the image you know like because i've got a home account on instagram i literally find it so inspiring a little bit too inspiring maybe because i follow some amazing people and i see some awesome bedspreads and just absolute hotel quality bed is it not, not bedding but like the way people dress their beds is there a name for that Anyway, a little while back, and quite a while back now actually, I asked you guys, we had a little bit of a poll over there, because I decided I was going to buy some dusk bedding, because everybody seemed to have had this dusk bedding, and they do really nice bedspreads and pillow things, so I was like, do you know what, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do it, I'm going to bite the bullet and I'm going to order it. So I ended up picking, well you guys helped me pick, I think it literally was 51% to 49% of which bedspread I should buy, but I did buy the 51% one, and it is this here. It is the Manhattan, Manhattan, um, like silver grey, what did they call it? Putty colour stuff. And this is what I got. So this is the bedspread of how it comes. So there's the dimensions. It's a really nice big bread spread. And it's this really nice like stitching. Like I was going to get quilted. The other one was quilted. But I think this actually looks quite nice where it's kind of puffy but not too much. So... I ended up picking up, obviously, the bedspread. I then got two of the 50 by 50 cm cushion covers and two of the 65 by 65. So I'll tell you what, dusk bedding really is a little bit of an investment. This unfortunately is not sponsored. So I was just gonna get the bedspread and then I was like, no, actually I wanna do it properly. And I've seen people who dress their beds to match the pillows or the throw cushions with the spread and it looks amazing. So I went to Ikea, as you guys would have seen from the Ikea haul, and I picked up the Farjar, Fajar, whatever, and the inners, which are 65 by 65 and 50 by 50. So. These should be fitting in. I don't think these ones are choppable, which is a little bit of a shame. One of you guys did tell me they do the down version of these, but I've had a look and I cannot find it anywhere here, so I don't know if that's a different country or whatever, but we're gonna go with these anyway. If I see the down ones in the future, I'll just swap them out because these are always handy. Let's put the cushion covers in and let's put the bedspread on the bed. I'm gonna do a time lapse. Sorry, my teddy bear is there. I've just put fresh bedding on, so let's get into the time lapse of trying to make my bed look very Instagrammy. I have been so looking forward to seeing what this looks like. Now, usually I iron my bed, like my bedding while it's on the bed, but because I'm now having a bedspread, I think I don't need to do that. I do want to do the hospital fold, so if you guys don't know what that is, it's like I've been watching far too many interior design programs, okay? But there's like a really nice fold you can do, and I'm hoping this will be big enough. This is a double bed, so this should be more than big enough. Oh, wow. Oh my, okay. Okay, it's huge. It's massive. Ginormous, maybe a bit too big, actually. So you can either have it like that, literally just leave it as a runner, which is quite nice if you want to change it up, but I think... Oh my god, guys, it's massive! Oh my goodness, it is humongous. Ugh. Oh my gosh, it's literally like the bed width times two. Okay. That is gonna look so nice though, isn't it? When I've done it all neatly and tucked it in. Okay. Oh my gosh. Right. Cue the time lapse, because it's gonna take me a while. <laughs>
Okay, so the bedspread is on and what a transformation. Look how instantly grand those big pillows and the smaller pillows have made it. The fact that the bedspread matches the setting pillows and like the, the cushions, not even pillows, sorry, they're cushions. Like that tie-in, that matching just really, really makes it look so much more quality and also the fact that this really does look thick it's a super thick bedding um and throw and so are the pillows i absolutely love them obviously the back ones do just need a bit of time i think to air because they're hollow fiber ones the front ones are down as you both seen they're from ikea and just something to make you guys aware of because i was never aware of this um down i've always been a bit like it never struck me until the other day where I was like, oh my goodness, down. I wonder what the like UK regulations are for it. Because obviously it comes from it comes from animals, it comes from birds. And I actually looked into it and IKEA are one of the only places that make sure it is a byproduct of the animal meat industry. I don't want to get into all of this. If you guys have very strong opinions about it, then I really ask you leave it out because I'm not I'm just trying to raise awareness that if you do want to use down and have down products just be careful where they come from and actually IKEA is one of the places that makes it very clear that they try and do it from a sustainable point of view where it's actually part of a byproduct of the meat industry so it isn't done in a harmful way if you know what I mean obviously <laughs> I don't want to get into the politics of it because it is what it is. I just want to kind of put that little message out there. But yeah, it is gorgeous. I really, really love this bedding. It looks cool. So I tried to do my hospital folds. This is what they call hospital folds. It sounds horrible, but it's just where you do these diagonal folds just so it makes it look really neat. I'm sure there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube of how to do it. It's so simple, but once you kind of figure it out, I just think it looks great. Obviously, there's loads of plastic I need to get rid of, but... That just absolutely has transformed the room. This space is screaming, screaming for something to go there, but I just don't know what yet. Also, I can update you now on our chest of drawers because we finally put the trunk in up, which has made this section look so much cleaner. So it goes up to our TV, which is angled down. And then I've got my two silhouette vases and some pampas here and I have got a little candle that's going to be going in there it's just coming in the post and then our perfumes mine and Andy's is basically apart from this one and this one they're all Tom Ford which are unisex so that's why I leave them out there but Andy tends to only use the little oh my deal which I buy for him and then that's meant to be up there but there's our little jewelry case with just some like Andy's cufflinks and my nice jewelry my little Buddha which looks beautiful and then obviously our chest of drawers and I just absolutely freaking love this setup i'm gonna close that drawer <laughs> okay so after so long i am finally going to be putting this oh you can't see anything through the sun i'm going to be putting this thing up which is a shelf that fits perfectly in this cupboard which is our airing cupboard and i have just been avoiding this this is all my summer clothes i need to do a full wardrobe switch over but i need to dedicate a day to that but i wanted to make sure make sure i could get something that literally fits perfectly here so i found this little shelving thing online it was really affordable and it goes obviously with the wood theme here i have just chucked all this stuff in here it's so good to have an airing cupboard because like when the laundry is nearly dry or like it's partially dry but just quite cold from being outside you can like chuck it in here and it doesn't get the horrible damp smell because it gives you like it makes it smell like it continues to dry you know what i'm trying to say so i'm gonna try the new setting on my camera which is the time lapse setting i think i need to go get a screwdriver and then we're gonna build this thing <laughs> Well, I thought that time lapse went okay, didn't it? So we have now built this finally, and it should fit pretty perfectly in that airing cupboard. So I'm now going to finally just put like the bedding, the spare towels, all this sort of stuff in there so it can live there. And then the top shelf hopefully is where I can just put the washing when it needs to have a bit more of an air. So should be a fairly empty cupboard, hopefully. Okay, and ta-da! absolutely clear up here nothing but my white company bath mats which i have two and then i obviously wash and swap them around but for now i had one in the family bathroom and in there so i had to clean both of them so i've used a different one but these are what's 
constantly circulated and then this is all space for the washing then I have my towels up here these are just like extra towels because the guest towels are already here little peak of the guest room which is not finished but it does look a lot better than before and then we've got like a couple of my beach towels here and then these are just four sets of bedding not that I even changed the bedding so I don't even really need them but obviously for the spare room I like to keep some but that is all nice and transformed there's so much space all the way up there but obviously this is mainly for the water tank but it just means that this little room gets so so warm so so good obviously for washing but yeah lovely jubbly just one of those wacky hair days <laughs> i feel like every time i turn on this camera my hair is not done but it's just because there's so much like it's so much to do but i must straighten it more often because it gets a bit out of control anyway hello everybody i thought i'd jump back on on the vlogs and update because i thought you guys would be really interested to see this now i have done a what I got for my birthday haul or it will be either be live before this or after this you know the drill I mentioned a video and it is live it will be down in the description or it would have popped up as an I if it doesn't and it isn't then that means it's coming so you know what to do hit the subscribe button <laughs> one of my birthday presents was this really beautiful bouquet of pampas that I got from my friend Steph and it is from this company called the Three Sisters Farm they're really, really awesome. Follow them over on Instagram because it's just such lovely stuff that they sell. And obviously it's a proper little farm shop thing. So I opened this up and inside, this is how it comes. Look how beautiful. She got me a, I can't remember what the name of the bouquet was called. I will link it down below though, because I definitely, I was on the look. I said to myself that I would go and buy myself a nice bouquet of pampas. You, I don't know if you can really see but over there I made this bouquet that's in my dining room so I just bought all the different types I bought the bunny tails and the grass and everything and just sort of made it myself but this is actually stunning of how it comes so I think it's it's called like the nude bouquet or something it's it's named after a name so my birthday was a little while ago but I haven't been able to take this out because I don't have a vase for it and I still don't have a vase but for now I'm gonna put it in my red wine decanter i think because i think that could actually look really pretty so until i find a vase it can live in there because it does need to breathe it's been in the box for so so long but look how beautiful this pampas is oh i really don't want to even take this out of this but i feel like i have to this is the only thing as well as it molts massively so i'm just gonna be very delicate with this so it's got a bit of string so i guess i can just tuck this in no, I need to take the string off because it needs to be released, but I'm going to bring you back a bit because it's hard for you to see. I just couldn't not have this. I couldn't have this in the packaging anymore. I just wanted it out. It's so beautiful. I'm going to put it in my beauty room, which is a work in progress, which you might see in this vlog or you might see in the next, but I definitely need to just like actually make it functional because right now I don't actually go in there because it's just like nothing is functional the world's strongest jute. Oh, there we go. So. Oh my God, I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. I need to shave it from the top. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to buy another wine decanter because this just looks absolutely beautiful like that. Oh my goodness. Okay. My love for Pampas is absolutely ridiculously real. It's so bad. Such a stunning bouquet. Oh my goodness. I love it. So I don't mess around, do I? I said I needed another wine decanter thing. I've literally just brought this on eBay. As you guys know, love my eBay. Um, and I've just bought this, it's really good. It actually comes with the little, what is that? I have no idea what that's for, okay. It comes with the little ball stopper thing, so I'm actually gonna use that for my real wine decanter. But yeah, this is exactly what I want for a vase. So I've had a little look online and vases like this actually cost way more than 16 99 so I did pick this one up, obviously it's got great reviews. It's exactly the same size as the one that I've got my current <clears throat> Pampas in and these are the dimensions there. So I'm very excited. That is coming in on Friday 
in. Oh, I'm very Liverpoolian. <laughs> That's coming on Friday, so I will change it to that vase because I think that the round one's so much nicer. And the vase there, actually, the sorry, the wine decanter, that one is a uh, one that was given to me by my mum and dad, and it's a sort of crystal one, so it's it's very special. Uh, so I don't really want to be using it as a vase, but this one will be spot on. So I will leave the link to this one down below if you are wanting to sort of replicate or get something for your pampas, because I find that obviously with pampas you have to have the right vase because of the nature of how it falls it kind of needs a really tight stem neck vase because otherwise you can't have like an open one because it just it's, it becomes too not dense enough so yeah if you're into pampas and you want a recommendation this is a little life hack get a wine decanter and i'll link that one down below i literally cannot deal with this room anymore so this is the current state of my beauty room. Now, you can see things have got a little bit out of control. This is all stuff that needs to be hauled, literally. I have got, tomorrow I have to sit down and film three different videos, um, maybe even more, no, I think three, but I've still got this print which needs to go in a frame. I did buy a frame from Denelm, but it was broken. So I still need to go and exchange that. I did go to the white company and get my boxes, but I do need to contact them online to see if I can get the bigger boxes as well. And then I've just got my filming stuff. But obviously this is supposed to be a nice space. I'm supposed to make this my filming room. I still have no art here. I really i am not 100% what to do with this wall. My dream is kind of to have the have a custom neon sign put up here that says like Bella Bambina XX. I don't know if that's tacky or not. I'm not sure. I also don't know if I want a collage wall because I really like the idea of having this, oh, focus. I really like this print, but I think that's probably gonna go like there because it's more size appropriate, or it will go here, I'm not too sure. Could go there, but I just feel like it'd be drowned a little bit there. Do you know what I mean? I, d I don't know what I wanna go for. I think we do need some shelves in here for sure, but I'm not too sure where to go. So here's a little overview of the room for you. Please obviously ignore all the bags, but it's very much not complete as you can see. You can kind of see what I'm going for, but we're not quite there yet. So the reason I have done that is because I'm going to conclude this vlog here. It is a little bit of a shorter moving vlog, but obviously we've got to do all of the bed and things like that in this vlog. But next moving vlog, or the moving vlog after, no, second last, second next one, because the next moving vlog is a lot to do with the garden. But the vlog after that, I am going to be doing a full beauty room makeover. Like I wanna film the whole before and after. I wanna do everything. Now that's like I said, either gonna be next week or the week after or possibly the week after that, but it's coming within the next sort of four to six weeks. You guys have followed me on this journey. I have taken your recommendations on so many occasions. I want to know what do you think I should put up in that room? Where do you think I should put shelves? Do you think I should put shelves? Do you think I should put some more art? Do you think it should be sort of like 3D neon art or just canvas prints or prints in general? Also any ideas because I am gonna need a good backdrop. That pampas is going upstairs as you would have seen and I'm thinking of putting that on that little mirrored chest of drawers for now because eventually I think I need to buy a chest of drawers. I seen this set in Dunelm which is here. I really love this. It's only £199, which is incredible. And I kind of love how it's the gray and the mirror without being full mirror, even though I do love my full mirror. But I mean, we do have that all in the bedroom, but I do love it. So this is the chance for you guys to get involved in the vlogs. Do you wanna see what you recommend come to life? Please leave down below all of your ideas, any inspiration, any links to different bits of art or different bits of furniture that you think I like or anything like that. I'm not sure if YouTube allows you to leave links down below, but if you do have any ideas and you can't for whatever reason submit me a link or anything down below, head on over to the Instagram page Bella Bambina home because I am constantly active on the messengers over there. I do get a lot of DMs come through so I try my best to reply to them all but I will keep a solid eye out because of purely what we're going to do with this beauty room. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to give it a big thumbs up, hit that notification bell and the subscribe button so you make sure that you don't miss any of my content to come. And apart from that guys, have a lovely rest of your day, weekend, week, month, year. And I will see you all in my next video. Stay safe and stay beautiful. Ciao!
Every time I'm down, yeah, you make me smile. You're the solution.